I've got your answers. So today we're going to show you a series circuit, which is a, a few contacts, three or more contacts on one zone in the control panel. And uh, what it does is when one contact opens or breaks, the uh, will cause the zone to open and the alarm will go off. So we're going to base this on contacts that have all been wired back to the control panel. Well, you have uh, one wire coming from each window contact back to the control panel. And if you're short of zones, then you can put multiple contacts on one zone. So we're going to go ahead and today we're going to put three contacts on a zone. And these three contacts that you see here, we're going to use a, a DSC panel kind of as an example. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright. So with a DSC panel we have eight zones. So if you have 20 some odd contacts then what you can do is you can double up contacts or even triple up contacts. I wouldn't recommend doing much more than three on a zone at a time for false alarm and troubleshooting reasons. So, you have your three two conductor wires coming from each device. So this is the first window, the second window, and then the third window. So what we do is we take one wire from the first contact and we're gonna twist it together with one wire of the second contact. So we'll twist these two together here like this and then we'll put a cap on it and we're going to crimp it down. Now what we're going to do is it's going to leave us with a, a something that's going to look kind of like this here. So we're going to take our third contact and we're going to take one wire from that and we're going to twist it together with one wire from the two that we've already connected together and then we're also going to put a cap on this here. When you're making these circuits, try not to leave any exposed cable sticking out of your wire caps and you can use um, the caps that we provide, the DC100Ps you can order online or you can use wire nuts, you can use um, solder and uh, shrink tube, things like that will work just fine for this connection. And then we're going to show you how to tie it into the control panel. And it's going to leave you these two wires here. So this is like a daisy chain. And these two wires is what's going to be hooked up to the control panel. So um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and use a resistor on the zone. And the resistor provides line supervision. And on the DSC panel, we'll use uh, its required resistor. And we're just going to make a simple connection here. And cut off the excess and then place a cap on that as well. Now, this one side of the resistor will wire into your control panel on the Z1 terminal, and the second wire will wire into the COM terminal. I didn't bring a screwdriver. And that's how that will work. So when any one of these windows opens up, that will force the zone to open up, causing the alarm to go off, or, uh, or show an open circuit on your control panel. Uh, when the circuit is open, of course you'll have uh, something displayed on there, either showing zone 1 or um, you know whatever zone we choose to use here. So we're going to wire this into the control panel now. And make sure that you, when you cut your wires, that you have just enough to fit into the terminal. This way you don't have any exposed copper wire sticking out. And you can leave a little exposed on the resistor. I like to trim it down a little bit. So we'll plug this in here. And then we're going to take our remaining wire. Put this into here. And 
tighten it down. So what you have now is a daisy chain for three contacts. So if your first window opens, this will open the circuit causing the system to open or cause an alarm if uh, perhaps you should have the system armed. That's pretty much it.